What up you guys, Chef Billy Parisi is in the house and I'm gonna be making something that is just near and dear to my heart and that is Oysters Rockefeller, which are oysters cooked up with cream, spinach, cheese, breadcrumbs. Yeah, dude, it is so good. Dude, I will never forget the first time I had an oyster. I was in culinary school, I was only 18 years old. We popped one of those oyster shells off. Everyone's slurping them down and I'm thinking, Dude, I'm gonna totally do this. I'm gonna love it. I slurped it down and I thought I was gonna puke. Immediately ran over to the trash can, spit it out. Everyone's laughing at me, including my good friend, Josh. We still laugh about it. Yeah, it was not good. Just bleh. Now, oh my gosh. Dozen, 24, no problem. Absolutely love it. So Oysters Rockefeller, I've been making for years. I'm super excited to sort of reinvent this old classic but we've got a few different oysters here that I wanna show you. We've got the Blue Point Oyster, which is based in New York, very mild flavor, a little bit bigger. Next, we've got the Malpec Oyster, which is based off of Prince Edward Island, which is just north of Nova Scotia in Canada. Got a nice sweet flavor to it, a little bit smaller maybe than that Blue Point. And then third, we got the Rappahannock, which comes from Virginia, incredibly mild flavor, and just a slight bit smaller than that Malpec. All great oysters, great for slurping raw or making in a Rockefeller like this recipe. You're gonna love it, dude, no matter what. It's just loaded with flavor, it's delicious. Can't wait for you guys to make this. Okay, so now comes the tough part, popping these oyster shells in half. So I remember one of my buddies that I used to work with, uh, I'll just call him D for now. Uh, he went right through the oyster shell into his hand. I think he got staples or stitches, yeah tore through a tendon, just absolutely ripped him apart. And he was super uh, not happy about it. And it was nasty to see. So with that being said, please be careful. Use an oyster knife, okay? Do not use a clam knife. Do not use a knife. Do not use a screwdriver. Use an oyster knife. Next, what you wanna do is hold it in a towel, okay? I just like to do this so it's not wiggling around. It kind of holds it firm. There's a little sort of crease on the back side of the oyster. You'll see a little gap there. Stick that oyster knife right in there, wiggle it around, pop it, push a little bit, but not too hard. You don't want to make you don't want it to be like you're going through brick here. Just be gentle, pop it through there. Once you get going, you'll start moving and grooving and shucking these things. And then you'll hit one that'll drive you nuts. And like me, you'll grab a hammer and figure out how to get through it. And uh, sometimes it's so frustrating, but stay with it get them all shucked up. I've got 24 here. It's probably gonna take about 10 minutes or so to get all of these oysters shucked. Okay, that was a lot of information and a lot of shucking. Put them on a sheet tray line with parchment paper, hit them in the refrigerator because we've got a couple other things to prep up. We've got an onion. We just wanna small dice it so it's nice and small. And next, because I'm super lazy bones, I'm gonna be running garlic through a garlic press. I'm not finely mincing it. You do whatever you want, set that to the side. Next, I've got some Asiago cheese we're gonna grate up. And then last but not least, I've got some prosciutto ham, which we are gonna julienne. Set this to the side, now it's time to cook. Go to your burner in a super large saute pan, add in some olive oil. Once it begins to lightly, lightly smoke, we're gonna add in the onions. Next, we're gonna hit it with that garlic. We're gonna stir it just for maybe two to three minutes. We wanna get a nice light brown on those onions and garlic before we add in some heavy whipping cream. After you pour that in there, turn the heat down to maybe low, medium-ish. We wanna cook it until it's nice and thick. Think Alfredo sauce. The more technical term is called nappe. That means that when you coat the back of a spoon, it will coat perfectly. And if you run your finger through it, you'll know that you'll notice that the um, cream does not bleed through sort of into the spoon. So you know you're at a really solid point here. What we're gonna do next is season it up very well with sea salt. Next, fresh cracked black pepper. And then to finish off this cream, we're gonna add in a few cups of packed baby spinach. Don't worry, they're gonna cook down. It's not gonna be this salad we're putting on top. It's, we're, I think Florentine here, so Cook it on low, medium heat. Wait for the spinach to get nice and soft. Only maybe two minutes does this take. Next, we're going over to another saute pan over medium high heat. We're gonna add in some olive oil. 
what we want to do is add those raw oysters that we shuck in the half shell. We're going to add them right in there. We need to cook the oysters a little bit, not much. It only takes a few minutes to do this, so just slide them right off the shell into the pan. And then the next thing we're going to do is add just a little bit of Chardonnay white wine. Going to add just a tad bit more flavor to these oysters, but no need to season because they got that nice salt water, salty taste, and they are oh so good already. All right, now it's time to assemble our oysters Rockefeller. So on a new sheet tray line with parchment paper, we're going to add those little cooked oysters back to the shell, evenly distribute them between all the shells. Next, grab that unbelievably creamy spinach goodness mixture and put a little bit of the spinach and the cream on each shell, just like the oysters, evenly distribute it all over the top of that goodness. Next, we're gonna hit it with a few julienne slices of prosciutto ham all over this. We're next gonna top off with some shredded Asiago cheese. And to make it extra dramatic in slow motion, some breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna top it off with some fresh shaved Parmesan cheese. Oh my gosh, I can't wait any longer. Okay, as soon as that's done, in the broiler only for two minutes. You wanna melt the cheese and sort of just lightly heat everything else up. Boom, we're good to go. Take it out. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Time to dig into this. Oh my gosh, would you look? This is like heaven in my own kitchen. Dude, Oysters Rockefeller is so good, but let me just warn you quickly before I go. This is not a cheap appetizer, but if you wanna impress some guests, this is the way to go. Oysters aren't cheap, but dude, everyone who eats this is gonna be like, what did I just eat? That's ridiculous. No more waiting, let's try one. I gotta go, I gotta eat these. See y'all next week. Oh my God.